Now, that is really great, but there is a caveat for this. Let's just uh, go and scroll down and under navigation destination, and let's just jump to that definition. And let's take a look at all uh, the node that we have right over here. So it says, do not put a navigation destination modifier inside a lazy container like lists or lazy v stacks. These containers create child views only when needed to render on screen, which makes sense. Add a navigation destination modifier outside these containers so that the navigation stack can always see the destination, it needs to always see the destination. Okay, so what we have over here, just scroll back, we have a vertical stack, so it's not a lazy view, which is fine. So everything uh, is working as expected. But what if, and most probably you are going to encounter, what if this would be a list? list? Now, we have this tab me, of course, we can just remove the padding so it looks uh, much better. So yeah, now we do have it on screen, but it's actually not a good practice because this might be over all the way down, right? So how to fix this? Well, first of all, I'm just going to copy this out so it's not inside our lazy view, in our case, the list, and just going to paste it outside, which also works, right? So we could just go oh, like that me. And there we go. Now, you could just go ahead and create the same uh, structure for the one with the item, you know, sheets are having also not just is presented, you can just go with items. And that's what actually works better with lists. Uh, but yeah, now you know the gist of it. And uh, with the is presented, it's quite simple right now. And uh, you can just go ahead and create the one with the item. Now, if um, you'd like what I built right over here and you kind of trust me, go ahead and check out the link in the description if you want an app built for your business.